Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's that time of the day where we televise good vibes, good energy, and sip and spear while we're at it. Compliments of the season, and of course, I've got my never-failing team to back me up. And that's the walk, if I or my, and the feisty, any baby. What's good, guys? I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. How's your weekend been? Oh, how was your weekend? My weekend was nice. Nice. What did you get up to? Uh, I went to a few clubs or... Did they shut Fire down anyone Boy. while you were there? No. So Fireboy, um, Mayoko and Bad Boy Tim's performed. So that was nice. Oh, yeah. That was really cool. Did you get their numbers? What? Yeah. <laughs> ah, <laughs> I already have some of them's numbers, but... Ah, bad Boy Tim's our guy. Now Mayoko is our guy. So, yes. Uh, maybe his Fireboy will be asking yeah, for his number. number for, yeah. yeah. So how about you? What did you get up to? Oh, I had fun. On Saturday, I met with a very old friend of mine. So it was kind of nice reunion. And I spent time with my family. Old oh, friend of yours, male or female? Male. Male. Mm -hmm. mm. It was kind of nice. It's okay. It's all right to have that type of nice moments with your male friends. But yeah, I had nice <laughs> moments as well, you know what I mean? <laughs> but man, let's get straight to it, man. Like, first things first. David Do is stuck and do right now because mm. he said it was going to be at his gate man's wedding. And Baba did it. He mm. was actually there. And what people cannot just help but just bring up conspiracy theories. I saw somebody saying, uh, it looks like Photoshop, but I don't get it. Huh? <laughs> They watch the video. <laughs> world people, like that's how I say world people. World people. Well, but it's only it's is only OBO. What do you guys think though? Shake table this morning. Hmm? Well, um, actually, I think we spoke about this in the past. Yeah. Um, said we praise David for being this humble soul and being down to earth because not everyone that can do this for their driver. Yeah. And again, I'm going to praise him. Good, uh, good job, David I actually admire your. Is it David driver or gets man? Driver. 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 Okay. So I admire your humility. I love the way you are you're always there for all of your workers. You appreciate their hard work. But remember what Ife said that time that she's scared that it may turn into a concert, that it may not mm. have this intimacy mm. that wedding usually have. And it was true. Because when you watch it, the way they were shouting and vibing, you feel as if you were in a concert. Not I lie. No, I I actually, that's the vibe I got. And the fact that some were even chasing after the cars. So I didn't get I that wedding you. setting. To me, that's my own opinion. I didn't get that wedding setting. How about you? Um, I think when, when I was saying that, I actually had in mind the white wedding, the church wedding, mm. and the... Um, what's the one before that? Anyway, there's an intimate aspect of weddings, and then there's the jai jai aspect mm. of weddings, which is the reception. Like, reception... Receptions already have guests on a normal day mm -hmm. um, come and perform. So the crowd for me was okay. They didn't really record the intimate part where you're actually okay. sharing your vows to each other, really seriously confessing mm -hmm. your love mm -hmm. for each other. Um, so I don't know if they just stole the spotlight there, which I don't think, if not, mm -hmm. I've been seeing all of that. So for me, then that's okay. The wedding was was a still soccer. intimate. I think it was successful because I know he didn't charge his um, no, he, didn't. he didn't charge to perform. So you've just given them a good time. Like everybody's going to talk about this guy's wedding where David came to perform. So you still got the wedding vibe. Yeah, I, I, I loved it. I so think it was I think it was a really really successful thing. They looked happy. The couples looked really happy, mm -hmm. and I think the couple because they work with him, you could see that they just they genuinely loved the person that was there. It wasn't like. Uh, a star, like yeah. they were starstruck. Yeah, exactly. It wasn't, oh my gosh, David, it was just like, yeah, my guy that, that okay. obviously does his job well, who's now helping, giving us a favor by entertaining our crowd. It looked really nice. It That's looked like, he looked like, David looked like he was part of his okay. gang. Like the way he sat with the couple, mm -hmm. I thought it was really beautiful. Personally, I felt like David did the extremely right thing because at the end of the day he sat there in the middle of this girl's legs and this guy was like you know taking a picture like i'm david o and then this is a fan do you understand like the he made that guy feel very special so that's why i didn't get the vibe of you saying he stole the show i don't <laughs> I was condemned. I'm just saying what me I saw. Mm -hmm. It didn't feel like a wedding and, to uh, me. I me that's were you wearing your? After the car. <laughs> All right, okay. let's leave that yeah, aside. Yeah, yeah. But I'm sure you, you you need to look at it again because I think David O actually did the right thing. He gave this guy a perfect vibe, and I think everybody would appreciate such um, a celebrity coming to your party and still giving you preference, I mean, even that, though you're, it, you're you're a driver. He didn't make it look like oh you're my driver. He made it look like yeah. you're my guy. Do you understand? Well, I, and then if you go to the weekend. comment section. People kept on saying, Mr. Tunde, you know, so this is somebody that is part of David Doe. This mm. is somebody that 
that they all know. Do you understand? So you see some celebrities saying Mr. Tunde, Mr. Tunde. So this is a driver they know already. Yeah. So big shout out to David O for doing yeah. this. And I think I, you, this you is have humility to also, like, If you think about it in a different circumstance where mm. you even have celebrities who come and surprise mm -hmm. a couple, mm -hmm. like they will not even be aware. And they, they, for you to surprise a couple, it means that it's, it's a nice gesture to come and perform at the wedding. Couples actually want that. They want their guests to be entertained, especially in the reception um, category, which is where all this noise and all this drama was from. You also have to consider that when we were saying that cars were chasing and all of that, mm -hmm. the, video has, the video is a celebrity. And unfortunately, that comes with him being a celebrity. Mm. It would be unfair to say that he's not allowed to grace his presence with his friend that he likes or like his driver that's mm. really been there for him mm. because unfortunately, he's a celebrity and he'll pull crowd. Yeah. Um, there are some people that are like that and they're like, okay. I don't like anything about celebrity life. So when their friends become a celebrity, they cut them off. Mm. But um, Tunde is not complaining. So that's just, the, that's just what comes okay. with, with Davido being at the wedding. If the couples were happy, the guests were happy, I think. We had a, it's a big shout out. All right, so um, enough of David O, enough of um, Mr. Today. Um, have a blissful wedding, enjoy your marriage. marriage. Yeah, the that's, that's the most thing. important thing, mm -hmm. and stay happy. And then, yes, we'll, we'll always have your back because you are now part of our the family, CBG. you know? Yeah, yeah. you're now part of our family because we are part of the 30BG yes, family. We, yes, yeah, now. you already know. know. Hmm? <laughs> yes, we are. Don't worry, I'm whiskeyed, but I'm still part of the okay. PG. Yeah, We're it's it's okay to love anyone you want. You get like it's all right. You can prefer one music to the other. It's not a problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't be a hating fan. <laughs> but it's all good. Let's move on. It will be recalled that the release of Omale and Thames followed diplomatic engagements between the Nigerian government and the Ugandan authorities. Well, singer Thames went on Twitter to call out Ugandan singer Bebe Cool over her and the manager's arrest in Uganda. So here's how Bebe Cool comes into the situation. According to Thames, he called the police on Thames and Omale, then followed the police around and bribed them to send them pictures. So bribe is not just in Nigeria, to send them pictures of their released papers so that it can look like he had anything or something to do with the release. What do you guys think of this type of human being? We have them around us. They, they be the ones to stab you and they be the ones to come treat the wound. Yeah. I think it's those people that like to think that they're smarter than they are. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, I have this grand plan and it's going to make sense, mm -hmm. but it doesn't. But I, for me, it was even Thames coming out and the way she came out. The way that she really came out. Like, so gang. So why like, you want to try me? Oh, Can't try yeah, me. Somebody yeah. is <laughs> upset. Okay. okay. Like, yeah, she did not hold back. I was, I was saying from the get-go of this story, that Thames Something is not in, tweeting. Know. No, not even that. That Thames is not tweeting. Thames is silent. Remember when they first got arrested and it was rumored, it was Omale who confirmed. Mm -hmm. And he said, don't worry, everything is fine. And then he said, oh, we're in prison. Is there anything mm -hmm. going on that we don't know about? This is really weird. And then, you know, he talks yes. about his release and all mm -hmm. that. She didn't say anything. And then when she finally said something, she had this really scripted, printed PR in personal, I have eaten mm. uh, posts and all that, which was like, okay, this girl is not a talker okay. on social media. So when I saw those <laughs> series of tweets that are like, this is not just a normal conversation. This is calling him like little Winnie and he needs to be cut off. And like, he's, he's, she's not holding yeah, back not functioning. at all. She ready. Like, so wow. that was impressive for me. Like, okay, girl. Um, but in regards to the context, sorry, I'll round up now. In regards to the context and what you're talking about, obviously it's really hurtful to see that somebody has betrayed you in that way. Mm -hmm. And then you're not even doing it with your full chest. Like, I'd rather you an enemy than now pretend like, like, yes. like yes. you're my friend. Like, that's a bit... Um, but I want to know, is he from Uganda or is he from Nigeria? He's from Uganda, Uganda. boy. Because yeah, apparently he's, he's Nigerian. He's, 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 in, he's who an upcoming in blown artist in sure. Uganda. Because the Ghana's keep saying it's still it on upcoming, Twitter. But he's blown. Uh -uh. <laughs> 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 well, you I can't explain. I can't explain it to maybe later. Yes, but not on camera. He's, <laughs> he's upcoming, <laughs> but he's blown. Yeah, because <laughs> the Ghana's keep saying that he's actually a. Nigerian raised in Uganda. Okay. So. Bebe Cool did a lot of work in Nigeria from history, if you want to check history, but I think we are going to erase well, all that I think history he has right now. Uh, mm? Ugandan, Ugandan artists, yeah. Yes. yeah. yeah. 
He's an Ugandan artist. He's, he's, he's an old school guy. He's not a young boy. He's not the Mamali or Tem Smith mm -hmm. you get now, Woji, that is supposed to be having sense. Okay. But suddenly, you know, I, I don't take sides. So mm -hmm. until Bebeku releases his own it's side of sense. his own statement, okay. I probably won't be against him. But I like the energy. Um, I just hope they keep the same energy when they actually see Bebeku because it won't be good enough to just come out and see all mm -hmm. these things and then, you know, see Bebeku and then when now see Thames featuring Tete Bebeku or Mali and Bebeku. And maybe, I don't, no, I don't, I don't think Thames will actually do okay. a feature with Bebeku, okay. but it's okay for them to have, re like, move past this, I'm guessing, if it's something yeah, that yeah, they're yeah. interested in doing. God forgives okay. all of us, so why can't we forgive you, man? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, when I saw the story, I had to go to the beginning of mm. so I could understand it fully. And when I read Bebe, please, did I pronounce that name Bebe correctly? Cool. Bebe Cool. Okay. When I read his own comment about it, I think he made this last week or last two weeks, when it was like, um, Uganda and Hatters, they're going through a lot due to this COVID-19 period. I think everyone has been affected by this COVID-19 mm -hmm. period. Even mm -hmm. people that are doing nine to five and the Hatters, everyone this year will say they've been affected. So you calling a Nigerian artist to come and perform when you're own people wait before you i can see you also <laughs> okay yeah, i can see that eyes so you call it a nigerian artist i can see his own side that, okay they're hot like why didn't you you uh, why didn't you um support your own artists in your country why are you going to another place but what he did i won't i'll say that is very very um that's two-faced and very shady you don't do that to your own person yeah. why would you act like um you're my friend then you go to the back you go to my back and act as if everything is okay and i picked one statement from what he said he said um uh, why would nigerians come here i will make sure I um, I ruin this concert no matter what. That is already implicating that, okay, mm. very cool, you have something to do with this situation. But like you first said, I'm waiting for his own statement. Go and ahead. then another thing mm -hmm. is, um, he also said, they said he made a statement. Um, that was when Muiwa was making a comment. He said, he said, um, Nigerians don't really like Ugandans, but Ugandans love Nigerians. So there's yeah. this, uh, what's it called now, prejudice against Nigerians already mm -hmm. that um, he has against us. And um, he's just exhibiting let's it. Not, let's not hold too much water with that one. I think mm -hmm. I think it's not that deep. I don't, I don't think the Ugandan beef like nigerian Ghana beef is even anything worth talking about we blew about. up party mm -hmm. after party and a lot of people don't even know this mm -hmm. person who sang party after party and it's an ugandan singer you're not getting so. my point nigeria and uganda don't have a beef worth mentioning True. if you say south I'm africa we have beef. i'm saying that was what bebe cool said okay do you get it i'm mm -hmm. not saying that there's a beef between nigerians and ugandans I'm saying what Bebe Cool you, said. Okay, to the way I got it was like he was trying to reiterate his point of saying that Ugandans love Nigerians, but well, no, Nigerians. I don't think that's the, I don't think that's, to, um, that's the case Omar at all. Is manager. I, it's it's very clear globally. It's not even now Africa globally that Nigerian music is a lot more. It makes people's cultures. It, it it's it's embedded in their history, in their memories. Mm. They walk down the aisle with it. They dance with it, and it doesn't. I mean, it was recently. Okay, we didn't talk about it on Tea Time where. Uh, a, a, a P squared, what Mr. Paul or me, whatever Paul Okoye, Mr. Mm -hmm. P, mm -hmm. and then some other people I can't remember now who went to go and perform at the president's daughter's wedding in mm -hmm. okay, um, Ikoto. Mm -hmm. I, I, no, it was Ethiopia, I think. One of those countries, okay. yeah. Um, so it, it is. It, I'm not. It's not a new thing to say that Nigerian music is has a stronghold outside, mm -hmm. and I don't think there's any other. Maybe South Africa that you would say that has strongholds as well outside of its country. Uganda is not one of those countries. Ghana is, a, maybe sometimes Ghana. Ghana is doing a, a good job keeping up. But my point is, Nigerian music is influential. So it is normal to see that there will be a lot more um, demand for Nigerian music outside of your outside of Nigeria, like outside of Nigeria okay. than their own people. So mm. that doesn't mean that there is a beef. It doesn't mean that Ugandans are taking that as, oh my gosh, why do you like whiskey's music more than Bebe's music? So therefore, I don't like Nigerians. That's not... That's not true. That's not what's happening in Uganda. There's no beef about that. The only thing we could see here, the real beef in this story, was the artists, the, Niger the Ugandan artists, not even the Ugandan people. The Ugandan artists felt like they were not getting enough support, yes. which mm. is normal. But then if somebody likes somebody else's music more than yours, then there's nothing we can do about that. That doesn't mean that, like, you Actually, know. Upset, like, they didn't allow them to perform and they were calling some um, artists from another country. Yeah, but what if I don't like the artist here? It's not by force. Like, <laughs> what if I don't like the attitude? That just reminds me of Simi's post as well, because I think he's watched 
what's touching on as well, what she said, um, it's okay for you to love everybody. You don't need mm -hmm. to start comparing celebrities and saying, oh, this person mm -hmm. is better than this person. Choose your poison. If I like David O, let me like David O. If I like whiskey, let me like whiskey. If I like Bonobo, let me like Bonobo. Mm -hmm. It's okay for me to choose sides and say, okay, I prefer this person's music. And let's stop making it look like it's a competition. It's never a competition between well, I mean, stars. Apart from they don't, um, fans of stars, they just like to stay up drama. And like, I, 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 okay, okay. Oh, like the way you were trying to stay up between me I and think, Whiskey this no. morning. <laughs> yeah, between the video. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. Fine. 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 I, I, it's yeah. it's okay. still, it's not, I don't think it's that rosy for the Ugandan artists because mm -hmm. they do have a strong point when you say that they're not supporting them. I am trying, I'm not, I'm not trying to dispute the fact that that's on what's it called now, the Ugandan people. Like, I don't think you can put pressure on the Ugandan people for wanting terms over mm. babes. But okay. we can still talk about that. You can still say that if the government has actually been preventing these people from gathering the little fans that they had, mm. okay. and then you now allow Thames and, and, and Omale, Omale. Omale. they had a point yeah, to say, yeah. yeah. Mm. And, but do they have oh, a point, to be, like have a point to, be, to be snitches, though? It's okay. Of course, to, of course. Yeah. That's, that's, that's not just a personality thing. Of course, thing. as in they can be snitches? Of course not, they're not supposed to be snitches. But that nobody out there, how many artists in Uganda, there was only one person. So it's, it's more about the character of that person than like the Ugandan people. It like, says a lot about their old school guy. If their old school guy is a snitch, so imagine the new generation because mm. there's a saying in Yoruba that says, Eshinwa Jule in Wushari. So if I'm looking at you in front and you, you are a snitch, what will I become? No, this, this generation, we're doing our own thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm just like saying. That. But yeah. um, we need to go on a break and tea time. We'll be right back. Stay with us.